All right, welcome to IBK where we talk about cars and tech. Today we're going to be talking about this Volvo. I love the look of this car. No doubt the popular car ever since it went on sale. And it's just a great little SUV to keep in the city. You know, this XC40. It looks great. It's fun to drive. This is the T5 all-wheel drive version right here. It just looks good, in my opinion, especially for this price range. Volvo's been making great-looking cars. Love the Thor Hammer lights right here. I'm sure many of you guys are a fan of this car or like this car as well. So let's just go inside and see the space of this car. All right, uh, let me get the back seat right here. Right, so pretty roomy. Of course, you got your famous panoramic roof. Uh, it is smaller, of course, than the 60 series and the 90 series. So, this is my friend, he's got his driving situated. So, this is how much knee space there is. Very comfortable. Uh, you got your rear AC for those hot and cold days. You got some butt warmers right here, seat warmers. And you got, oh look at that, an AC adapter right there for your phone. So great for long trips. Very small window <laughs> right there. Uh, overall. The cabin is a little bit tighter than your 60, but it's it's definitely not, you know, this seat is way, way back here. That's why it looks so tight. But once you adjust that to a normal person, should be plenty of room here. And of course, the rear got the cover. All right. Let me open this really quick. So, quite a lot of space back here uh, to put all your groceries and bags. Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little bit of space here too. So I'd say that's about, about five inches of in-between space. You could put something else. All right, and then you could definitely fold these chairs down. So, good room. And here you go automatic close now this has full options so that's probably why you have that and here is the inside love the digital cluster like all Volvos super sweet and then of course your classic console right here for all Volvos uh, Armin Kardon speakers so here's what I was talking about this is a lot of room so if I go forward here back great space again great space all right so we're gonna start driving soon uh, a lot of a lot of space in here uh, cup holders more space for your phone and I guess I don't know what you it's no longer an ashtray but I guess you could put trash in there. It's like a trash bin. You could put throw away receipts, put a little plastic bag in there. All right, so this is the inside. This is some um, design that they have. Smooth plastic, metallic there. Nice metallic dials. It's premium interior, definitely for this car. And it's it's simple, but you have everything that you need. So it's got this sporty feel, more than the luxurious feel, especially with this uh, mesh looking plastic cover. All right, and here's your mirrors. All right, got, I believe that's a speaker there. And then you got your panoramic roof. So again, a lot of space, definitely a car for four people. 
uh, let's see how it drives all right all right so i've been in this car driving this car and uh my impressions are that it's a solid suv uh, just like any other suv really high up you can see from this video right here and feels very comfortable um, we've gone over potholes and road bumps and it takes it very cleanly uh, so you'll be very comfortable in the car the seats are very nice lots of room as I said and very quiet uh, we've been going highway speed in this car and overall it's pretty quiet I think that You'll have a nice pleasant conversation with all the passengers here, which is important for a car like this. And the speed of this car, the peppiness, it's decent. It's about 240 horsepower, 250 pounds of torque. So definitely you get some oomph when you when you hit it. No problem in doing any lane assist, lane changing or merging onto freeways. You have no problems at all. It's a small car. So uh, it's also very great for city driving. So one other thing about this car that I really love is the steering wheel. It's, it's very light. Uh, I know some of you guys like the sports steering wheel where it's heavier, but for me, just driving this car, not as a sport guy, just as a comfort mode, it's, it's super light. And when you're navigating through parking lots, you know, going through supermarket I'm just talking about day-to-day -day driving this steering wheel is super enjoyable I love what Volvo did here I know the S90s are much more heavier so kudos to Volvo to keep the steering wheel this way if you haven't experienced it trust me it's, it's super nice to just have a very light steering wheel where you could handle everything with ease in one hand when you're in a supermarket really like to point that out and the brakes brakes are pretty good they're pretty standard they're not super grippy all right so you know Volvo's known for their safety and you're no doubt getting a safe car here so keep it all right so there you go I just want to talk about the steering wheel there the gas mileage it says about 33 miles per gallon I'd say it's more close to about 29 30 unless you're doing long distance driving in the highway and that's great for an SUV like for this size and you could comfortably put about five people in the back you've got the seats here with a little bit of, of crevice so you can seat the, the fifth person in the middle and you know, the thing with Volvos are the seats are very comfortable I love how fashionable they look at the same time and there you go we close the panoramic roof so it's nice and cool and dark in here even in this summer like heat um, overall fantastic car fun to drive if you are looking for a starter SUV with some luxury into it I definitely say you should check out this car um, yeah if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comments below tell me what you guys think about the exterior of this car do you guys like it a lot I, I really like the front more than the back my personal taste but overall the package it looks great and I think it's a just an outstanding little package from Volvo and oh these stereos are Really high class, the Harman Kardon. Um, if you like music, you'll enjoy it quite a bit. And there you go. That's that's about it. Uh, pretty simple inside here. Um, I don't know if you could hear the engine noise or anything, but that's how the engine noise sounds. It's pretty quiet, it's subdued. It's not sporty at all. I don't think they intended it for that. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. As always, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you around for the next video.